y'all check out my Michigan rappers, King Sound and G Mac Cash. Just dropped a new hip hop singles. The Butchers is out on all digital platforms. Make sure you tune in and check them out. The Butchers by King Sound and G Mac Cash. Links in the description. Make sure you check it out. YouTube Music, Spotify, Apple, uh, regular YouTube. So make sure you go support these brothers, man. And uh, peace. All right, man. I know I can't get away without doing this video. Congratulations to Martin Bacoli. He got the victory over uh, Jared Anderson, which I was like, Jared Anderson ain't losing to nobody who knocked out, who got knocked out by Michael Hunter. Um, yeah, I never, I, I admit, I had never seen Bacoli fight, and I started looking at his size. No diddy. Uh, I was, oh yeah, Jared Anderson may be in a little bit of trouble here, and he came in 184 pounds. Um, Jared Anderson won 50 something and he was in there with a grown ass man from the Democratic of Congo and he got set on his ass. And, you know, we did a little lot improv live when I was taking miles to use the bathroom in between the fights. But I just figured I just do a bunch of review videos of the fights uh, Saturday or whatever. And then whatever happened after the fights in the press conference, we just throw that into the live stream later that day. And like I continue to say, man, um, uh, yeah, man, I'm, you know, uh, in the first round, I kind of was looking like Anderson was like, he was pecking away and Bacoli was just waiting to land that shot. So Bacoli was just more than brute strength. Bacoli was there. He knew what he was doing. He, you know, his, whoever his team is, I know Ben Salam is his coach. I mean, this is promoter. <clears throat> so they knew exactly what they was doing. Um, um, you know, they knew exactly what they was doing. So they knew exactly what they was doing. So, uh, you know, um, so with that, with that being said, uh, you know, the mistakes that Anderson been making, um, he been making them, you know, pulling back with his chin up, um, in four weeks with, uh, um, you know, four, you know, four weeks with his, uh, with Sugar Hill just wasn't going to do it. It just wasn't going to do it. It wasn't going to do it. So, you know, your chin up, you know, you know, so, uh, you know, your chin up, you know, and you pulling straight out versus a guy who, who got the, the length of, of, of Martin Bacoli. I'm pretty sure he has some reach on him. No, did he? Uh, they don't have his reach on box rate. That that was a problem. So, you know, what he should have did, to be honest, he should have stayed on the outside and, and, and kept fainting. He should have just baited Bacoli. He should have baited Bacoli. And I understand you want to get off a five, fast start. A guy got a 30-pound weight advantage on you. I get it. You want to get off to a fast start. You want to tire him down. But when you're young, you know, it's kind of like, you know, what they say in the bedroom with, with young guys, whatever. They like to just – get it in like jackrabbits and don't really know how to, you know, actually, you know, switch it up and change speeds. And that's the same thing here. He just wanted to get straight to it, come out there, let us set the tone. And then, you know, if he did that, then set a win. But I think he should have really, really took his time. He should have took his time. He should have baited Bacoli. He should have let Bacoli work. You notice Bacoli was just sitting back, taking his time or whatever. And then, and then you know, he should have just let Bacoli reach and try to capitalize off the uh, Bacoli reaching or whatever. Let me play, let me play a video real quick. Cause somebody calling me. Give me one second. Uh, I don't know what to play. Hold on. Shit, I don't really have. Mac, you understand me? D Mac and Coley on alias. Y'all from the go to the no. Chicago fan, no sons of my motherfucking macaroni light. Hey, yes, man, sir. can I ask you a question? Yes, you sir. Yes, sir. How long have you been in the game is that you claim to find? Oh, uh, 78. I had my first home. I was 18. Yeah, I'm over. Um, uh, Rick, uh, Scott and Ricky took me over down on uh, uh, Magic Wines House. Right. Uh, my bad. I had a phone call. But, uh, but yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, nonetheless, yeah, where I was at, but yeah, you know, like I said before with, with Jared Anderson, uh, he, you know, I think he should have just took his time, felt Bacoli out, try to have Bacoli make a mistake and capitalize off of Bacoli mistakes, but he had the good game plan, go to the body, you know, you know, 
And, you know, he stood in front of him and he fought him too much. But sometimes you got no choice. You got a guy that big throwing punches, not getting tired, confident. So I think he did a good job, you know, going to the body and all that stuff. But he should have just been fainting him, staying on the outside. Um, you know, that's what I think he should have done. You know, but he young, you know, he young. He thought he was invincible, thought he can mix it up with old buddy. And, you know, you know, at the end of the day, that that wasn't the case. And Bacotti just knew it. He had the experience. You know, he laid back. Um, you know, uh, he laid back and, you know, and just let the young guy run into something. That uppercut was something vicious, too. He missed that uppercut quite a few times, you know, <laughs> through the fight. But when he landed, it was money. You know, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, you know, he struggled a little bit. So, um, but uh, but yeah, you know, Anderson just pulled straight back with his chin up. He admitted that that he didn't listen to his team. To, you can't change that. You know, you can't change that. It ain't something that 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 you can change. You know, in one camp, you know, four weeks of Sugar Hill, he couldn't, he didn't really correct nothing. He probably could devise a game plan for, 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 for Anderson. And they had a good one. It's just that he made the same mistakes, pulling straight back. And he acknowledged them. You know, he acknowledged them. So, you know, nonetheless, uh, um, you know, just drills and going through film work. And, you know, that's the only thing that's really, you know, it's really going, going to change that. You know, that's the only thing that's really going to change that, man, is, is just him, you know, uh, is is him, you know, for the most part, getting better. You know, drilling it, you know, no diddy. Um, and just fixing, you know, fixing where he went wrong at. So I think it's possible, um, honestly, for them to fix that. I think he can come back. You know, Lennox got knocked out early in his career. Mike got knocked out, came back. It happens. Even in the heavyweight division, it happens. You can come back from that. Now, some guys never really recover, like Michael Moore. And, you know, some of these guys, you know, never got over it, you know. And Michael Moore lost to a 40-year-old man, so that shit was devastating. And he pulled a rabbit out of his ass, you know, in that one. That one, too. And he just had missed that one, too, prior. That one was crazy about it. But, uh, but nonetheless, uh, uh, but yeah, nonetheless, you know, it shit is a learning experience. As long as he still got his confidence, and I don't think he took too much damage. Just the way that guy was throwing punches, they were effortlessly. He wasn't trying to throw hard punches. He just had naturally had heavy hands. You know, he naturally had heavy hands. So, you know, you get in there with somebody who naturally, you know, got those heavy hands and, and naturally, you know, uh, you know, can do what he did. Uh like I said, like I said before, man, yeah, you gotta let sometimes you gotta let sleeping dogs lie. Maybe he shouldn't have took that fight. Maybe he should have took that fight. You know, adversity, adversity, you know what I'm saying? Uh you know, adversity build, you know, it build character. So a loss sometimes can be good for you. You can, you know, you can, you can a loss can be good for you. Real talk. Sometimes a loss can be the best thing happen to you. You know, we talk about how a lot of these dudes had a player named Mac Arc, you know, in life. A lot of it come from, you know, losing. A woman dissing them, a, a woman playing them, a woman cheating on them, you know, a woman doing something to them. And, uh, you know, then they figure out, like, okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to just go out there and be him and be me and be a dog on these hoes. And that's how, that's how a lot of them dudes end up becoming, uh, you know, that's how a lot of them dudes end up becoming uh, players in Max. You know, that's how a lot of them dudes end up becoming players in Max and stuff of that nature. So um, sometimes, like I said in my live reaction video to this fight, you had Marvin Hagler, all that adversity he went through early on, getting robbed and shit and, you know, losing close fights and getting draws in his first title fight. When he got cut versus Tommy Hearns and they threatened his turn to stop the fight, that all drove him to go out there and stop and stop that man. That drove him to go out there and stop Tommy Hearns. You know what I'm saying? So adversity build character. Losses, 
build character. So he, he don't seem like he took a lot of damage. You know, hopefully he can come back. He showed that he a dog. He showed he won't quit. He sold he'll strap his nuts on. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think he wants some fans over tonight because a lot of guys didn't want to fight him. See, we kept saying, I'm saying, when guy lose, you know, um, he got to retire. You know what I'm saying? And I understand a lot of people mad because he said about Devin Haney, yeah, I don't, you know, he got what he deserved. All these niggas that was hating on Devin Haney, they they lose, you know, they lose it. And rightfully so. And I heard he showed up to the fight tonight in Southern California. He got booed. He got booed because y'all Mexican niggas, y'all Mexican homie uh, pop got cheated. I'm telling you, this wor- world is backwards. Skinny jeans and wearing purses make you cool. Nerd streamers are are the cool kids on the internet and all that, bro. We living in the Twilight Zone. We living in the, like that TV show Netflix. Y'all ain't never seen it. Black Mirror, great TV show. We living in that time. So appreciate y'all. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out the fight reaction playlist. Uh, shout out to Big Baby Anderson. You still kind of said some whole shit about Devin, but keep your head up. Midwest love, Midwest pride. But hit the link tree. Check out the Patreon. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, we gonna leave y'all with P Mac. P Mac, y'all stand me. P Mac is totally on alias. Y'all stand from the go to the no. Chicago the fan, no sons of my motherfucking macaroni like. Hey yes, man, sir. can I ask you a question? Yes you sir. Were, yes sir. How long you been in the game? Is that you claim the fact? Oh, uh, seventy-eight. I had my first home. I was eighteen. Yeah. yeah. I'm over. Um, uh, uh, Rick, uh, Scott and Ricky took me over to uh, 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 Magic Wands House for right. the first time birthday party. Yeah, I was turned on ever since. But you know what they say about the game. You yeah. got to be in you. It can't be on. Can't be on. You know what I'm talking about? I got a live exclusive players. I told you I'm going to bring something fresh. Fresh to death. But I finally got a real tour in the building, man. Chicago Finals, I'm talking about. Believe that. Yeah. Pee Wee Mac. Yes, yeah, that was it. And don't take the, don't forget to put the Mac on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Might as well say Herman if you don't say Mac. Yeah, mm-hmm. please, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Pee Wee, tell me about some of your experiences. Hey man, the up and down of the game, that's what turns me on. Yeah. That's what I mean, you know, this shit can turn around overnight, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got some hard time, man. And it take a tough motherfucker to go through these motherfucking bitches. Peace.